public got a preview of the new bridge on June 12th as walkers could experience the span close up and runners inaugurated it with a race. The next day the bridge was unveiled with pomp and circumstance as dignitaries and the public came together to christen the new span at the ribbon cutting. Together there's not a thing we can't accomplish. We prioritize this as a priority to finish this bridge. We started it in 205, finished it in 208. We should be extremely proud. Two states worked extremely well together, knowing they had constraints as far as monetarily. They made it better than what it would have been as something that's a work of art, something that we're going to be proud of and something you're going to be bragging about and your children will brag about. With that, the bridge was open, connecting West Virginia and Ohio. History and industry and engineering and aesthetics. Becoming the first bridge in the United States to use cable state technology and setting a world record as the longest tide arch bridge in the world. And so time and history converge on Blannerhassett Island once again. A new landmark shares space with the old and antiquity holds hands with modernity with the opening of the Blannerhassett Island Bridge.